Today, Nintendo Dads brings you a review of a game called Rain World, published by Adult Swim Games, developed by Video Cult. In this game, you play as a slug cat. You're alone trying to find your family in a world where you fit in the middle of the food chain. You are going to need to be a predator to eat and try to avoid becoming prey to many, many predators that would like to eat you. So here we are in the world of Rain World. As a reviewer, I think that's kind of where you have to start off. Uh, one of the most amazing things of this video game is the world itself. 1,600 expansive rooms to uh, explore, and very little information given when you start in this world. Uh, basically, this is the tutorial, which kind of it, it sets you at the end of a day, so you have to race to find some food, and it teaches you how to do that. Uh, thanks to this little worm guy here. He he kind of helps you through all throughout the video game, or all throughout the game. Um, and then after this, he'll, he'll, he'll quickly help me find a, uh, a vault to hibernate in. Because um, in Rain World, as the name would imply, every night there is a crushing rain that comes down. And it is, uh, it is your job to find food, one, as I'm doing now, so that I can get at least three dots of food. As you see, as I eat these bats, I get I get another dot. And two, uh, to find a place to hibernate, so that I can uh, so that I can get away from the crushing rain, and uh, basically save my game. It does both of those things. Uh, it allows me to get away from the crushing rain. It also gives me my new save point for if I were to die. Um, so Rain World is made up of these 1,600 rooms that you get to explore. In Rain World, one of the most amazing things is you are put in the middle of the food chain and your predators and your prey are never in the same spot. So just because you found a, a predator in one room, that doesn't mean that if you go back there that predator is going to be there. It might not be. You might find a room with no predators that all of a sudden the next time you go back has two or three. Um, that is fascinating and that is ridiculously frustrating at the same time um because it, it just there's no way to game out what you need to do this is not a pattern platformer where you just say okay i need to jump a second earlier or or jump a second later or wait there or duck here it's not that kind of a game this is a slow stealth how do i avoid the enemies to get to where i so that i can get where i need to be and do what I need to do kind of game. And for some people, you are gonna love it. And for others, they're gonna find it just very frustrating. So as you saw, I found myself a vault. It's now, um, I used three of my dots of food. See the little dots around that symbol? That's the, um, I'm gonna call it day, because that's the best thing I can do. That's the amount of day I have left. So I have a full day now to explore the world before I have to find a new vault or come back to this vault. I can always do that too. That symbol, for the longest time, I thought that was like a Monday, Tuesday, a day. Um, it is not. What that is, it's my karmic level. So uh, if I can make it through the day without dying and I find a place to hibernate, um, I will move up a karmic level. That's important because certain doors and certain areas open if your karmic level is high enough. So that's that's really Rain World. That is the world of Rain World, which really makes it what it is. Um, your second thing you have is your character itself, and that is this slug cat who is exploring to find his family who he lost in one of those crushing rains. The slug cat is cute, adorable, and his animations are pretty fantastic, quite frankly. Um, though there are times where those animations have not, do not work how you want them to. Frustrating as it may be, he doesn't jump when you want him to, he doesn't duck. Sometimes you want him to duck and he doesn't. It's just, it's just simple things that just don't always seem to work how you would want them to be. The controls are not bad, but they're certainly not as precise as many a platformer that you will find on the Switch. So guys, this really is the basics of, or that is, the basics of Rain World. Uh, people are probably either going to love it or hate it, quite frankly. 
I mean, when you start this game off, you get to choose from three modes. Easy, uh, which they call the Monk, uh, Normal, the Survivor, and Difficult, the Hunter. Um, there is an arena multiplayer uh, mode where you can kind of fight it with your your with multiple with up to four players um you know people are gonna love the huge map but at the same time a huge map's only great if you have some semblance of an idea of what you're doing i think the lack of, of information of, and direction of where you need to go makes those 1600 rooms just seem insurmountable quite frankly um, one thing that nobody can argue with, in my opinion, is the art style, which I think is amazing, fantastic. I loved watching this game. I loved the the 16-bitish style that they use, and uh, how pretty it is to watch. And the other thing is, I love the background music. They have used tracks here and layered tracks upon tracks so that you never really have to hear the same background music twice. And there is nothing more annoying than having a game that is um, all exploration and all just walking around the map when, you hear, when you're just listening to the same background music over and over and over. I love that that is not a thing. Um, I think people are going to really have difficulty, I think, uh, with the fact that there's just not a lot of save points. Those hibernation vault spots, there's not a ton of them in this game. Uh, there really is not. The randomly generated enemies are fantastic in theory, and I think it's an amazing um, game mechanic. But with that said, randomly generated enemies is a pain in the butt a lot of times too because you zip yourself through a pipe and you think you know what you're about to find and then you don't you see something totally different by the way what you're viewing here is the beginning um is the beginning story that tells why how what happened to your family and why you're trying and now searching for them so I think it's going to be difficult for some people to really get into. For me personally, there is just too much map here and not enough direction for me to continue to explore uh, this gigantic world that they have created. That's just me. Right now on the American eShop, it is $20. I know it's been out for a while, guys. Um, if it's something you think you might be interested in, there's no real reason why you, you shouldn't pick it up. I mean, the game is it's a sound game for sure. And there's a lot to like in this game. There's just some real factors that, when added all together, make me wonder if I, um, if I can really put up with it. <laughs> no better way to put it than that. Uh, so guys, this is Nick from Nintendo Dads reviewing Rain World. I hope this has helped you make your decision on this game. See you later. Signing out. Game over.